Today we will discuss Egan vectors and characteristic vectors of a matrix. In the previous lesson, we talked about Egan values and characteristic roots of a matrix. So if you have not seen that video, I suggest you please go and watch that video because to get the characteristic vectors of a matrix, you must know how to achieve characteristic roots of a matrix. So let's see and talk about the characteristic vectors. These are also known as Egan vectors of a matrix. So corresponding to each Egan value that is lambda, we had seen how we can calculate Egan values of a matrix in the previous video. So corresponding to each Egan value lambda, we have corresponding non-zero vector x which satisfy the equation this a minus lambda i x is equal to zero. And this non-zero vector x is called as the characteristic vector or Egan vector. So if for a matrix A, we have three Egan values, then for those three Egan values, we will have three Egan vectors, corresponding three Egan vectors. How we can calculate the Egan vectors? The two step process, step one, for matrix A, first of all, we need to find all Egan values. We had already discussed this in the previous uh, video lesson. And then step number two, for each Egan value, or that is lambda i, we need to find vector x i that satisfy this particular equation. Let's see this with the help of an example. So we have a matrix A. To get the Egan values of this matrix, we need to follow those steps. Uh, we need to get the characteristic matrix of this. Then we need to expand this with any respect to any row or any column. Then we get the characteristic equation. And on solving that characteristic equation, we get all the characteristic roots of the equation. So let me write the characteristic matrix of this. That will be 3 minus lambda, 1, 4, 0, 2 minus lambda, 6, 0, 0, 5 minus lambda. Now let me expand this with respect to first row if i expand this with respect to first row then i'll have a 3 minus lambda 2 minus lambda multiplied by 5 minus lambda then minus 0 into 6 will be a 0 so there will be nothing then minus of 1 for 1 we have 0 into this and 0 into this so we'll have we have uh, nothing we'll have nothing 0 into this and 0 into this that means 0 minus 0 will be a 0 so we do not have this term as well and then last one plus 0 into this and 0 into this will give you 4 into 0 so this term will also be 0 so we have a 3 minus lambda 2 minus lambda and 5 minus lambda from this we can see that there are three even values which are lambda is equal to from this we have 3 from this we'll have 2 and from this we'll have 5 so we have three Egan values, three, two, and five for this given vector, for this given matrix. So now for each this Egan value, we need to find out Egan vector. Now for lambda is equal to three, we had three values, three Egan values of this. Lambda is equal to three, two, and five. We'll start with for lambda is equal to three. This should satisfy the equation A minus lambda I x is equal to 0 so we'll write this this will be uh, 3 minus lambda 1 4 0 2 minus lambda 6 0 0 5 and then we'll have a uh, x1 x2 x3 this has to be equal to the 0 vector 0 0 and 0 now for lambda is equal to 3 we will replace lambda here by value 3 this has to be 5 minus lambda so we'll replace lambda by 3 in this so once we'll replace lambda by 3 this will be 3 minus 3 this will be 2 minus 3 and this will be 5 minus 3 so now we have a uh, 0 1 4 0 2 minus 3 is minus 1 this is 6 0 0 5 minus 3 this is 2 and now we have x1 x2 and x3 this is equal to 0, 0, 0. This will have a trivial solution. So we'll form first two equations and then we'll perform the cross product to get the values of this uh, x1, x2 and x3. 
we'll achieve so the first equation is 0x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 this is equal to 0 from this we'll have the second equation as a 0x1 minus uh, x2 and plus 6x3 is equal to 0 x1 divided by 1 into 6 that is 6 minus minus 1 into 4 that is plus 4 is equal to x2 so x2 will be 0 into 6 this will be 0 minus 0 into 4 this will again be 0 and then x3 so the x3 for x3 we'll have 0 into minus 1 and 0 into 1 that is 0 minus 0 we'll keep it equal to k so this is coming x1 upon 10 x2 upon 0 and x3 upon 0 is equal to k as this is 10 we can divide uh, all these with 10 and keep it 1 so this is x1 upon 1 x2 upon 0 and this is x3 upon 0 so the values of these x1 x2 and x3 comes to be x1 will be k x2 will be 0 and x3 will be 0 now we can write this in the form of the vector so the first vector for lambda is equal to 3 can be k 0 0 or we can keep this k out and this will be 1 0 0 this is for lambda is equal to 3 the first eigen vector now let's calculate the second eigen vector for this lambda is equal to 2 so we'll write lambda is equal to 2 obviously in the matrix we'll replace this lambda with uh, 2 now so this is 5 minus 2 3 minus 2 now this time this will be 1 2 minus 2 this time will be 0 5 minus 2 this time will be 3 so now we'll have two new equations this will be x1 plus x2 and plus 4x3 is equal to 0 this will be 0x1 0x2 and plus 6 3 is equal to 0 which will be a trivial solution so we are going to solve this trivial solution so for that we'll have x1 upon uh, 1 into 6 so this will be 6 minus 0 into 4 6 minus 0 into 4 that is 0 then x2 so x2 upon this is x2 1 into 6 uh, this will be 6 and then 0 into 4 that will be uh, 0 right and the next third x3 so x3 will be 1 into 0 that is 0 minus 0 into 1 that is also 0 this can be kept as equal to 6 so now this is x1 upon 6 x2 upon 6 this is x3 upon 0 is equal to k we can all divide this with 6 and can convert this x1 upon 1 x2 upon 1 and x3 upon 0 is equal to k from which we can find out the values of x1 x2 and x3 so x1 will be equal to k x2 will be equal to k and x3 will be equal to 0 we can write this in the form of the vector so this uh, vector form let me write it here <clears throat> so now this vector will be represented by uh, this is k okay right we can write it as k k and 0 we can keep this k out this vector can be written as 1 1 and 0 for lambda is equal to 2 so the first vector for lambda is equal to 3 was k out 1 0 and 0 and for lambda is equal to 2 this is k out 1 1 and 0 now the last even value that is lambda is equal to 5 so we will take here 5 in place of the lambda so this is 3 minus 5 2 minus 5 and 5 minus 5 3 minus 5 will give us a minus of 2 2 minus 5 will give us a minus of 3 and 5 minus 5 will give us a 0 so now we'll have two equations this will be minus of 2x1 plus x2 4x3 is equal to 0 0x1 minus of 3x2 plus 6x3 is equal to 0 which is again a trivial solution so we'll solve it uh, in the same way we used to solve these two equations to get the values of x1 x2 and x3 so now this uh, x1 will be 1 into 6 1 into 6 that is 6 minus uh, 
minus 3 into 4 so this is 12 plus is equal to x2 now what is the x2 minus 2 into 6 this is minus of 12 and 0 into 4 so this is minus of 0 then this is x3 which will be minus 2 into minus 3 so x3 upon minus 2 into minus 3 that is 6 and then we'll have 0 into 1 so this is minus of 0 is equal to k so this is coming 6 2 is 12 that is 6 and 12 it's 18 x2 upon minus of 12 x3 upon 6 is equal to k we can divide this all with the help of uh, 6 we will divide it with 6 so x1 upon 3 x2 upon minus of 2 and x3 upon 2 this is k so now the values of x1 is a uh, 3k the x2 is minus of 2k and x3 is equal to twice of k we can write this in the form of a vector so now this Egan vector will be written as 3k then we have minus of 2k and then we have 2k or we can keep this k out this will be 3 minus 2 and 2 for lambda is equal to 5 so this is how we had calculated all the three vectors vector 1 for lambda is equal to 3 vector 2 for lambda is equal to 2 and vector 3 for lambda is equal to 5 these are the three characteristic vectors or Egan vectors for the given matrix a now that's it for the today's lesson we'll meet soon in the next lesson